Hi and welcome to this third video in which we are looking at how to create mobile web apps using a tool called Adzi. And in this video we'll look at how to get our work back from a previous lesson and how to add interactive elements to our web app. So first thing we need to do is load our work from a previous lesson and doing that is really easy. We just click on the button here and when I get the options down the side I need to click my apps and you can see there what it's got is actually two drafts of, of work that I've already done. So if I click draft two, what I should then be able to do gives me an option to, to edit it. So click pencil and there we go. And I'm back in the app that I created last week. Now, you remember that in, last, in my last video, I actually created a second page. And what I'm going to show you how to do now is to add interactivity to your web app so that users can navigate between different pages of your app. So the first thing I need to do is to actually add a, a link button to my second page. So I'm going to use this one as my link button on this page and I'm going to link it to the second page now. So all I do for that is I'm going to click on the pages button, go to my second screen, click the plus tool and then I'm just going to choose an icon just let's I know, let's use the home one that's kind of appropriate because it's going to take me back to the home page and that's done right so this is really straightforward if I just go back to my first screen this tool lets me add kind of an interactive hotspot over any icon or area on my screen so if I click this tool what I can start to do you see is I start to draw almost like a layer looks like a transparent layer of, of, of pen there and there you, you can see straight away that once I've drawn that it pops up with this set of options at the bottom so I can link to a page I could link to an external website so that would be good if you wanted to link to a Twitter page or to go to a, another site to find more information an email address or a phone number obviously if you're using Adzi on a mobile device, that one's more useful than if you're using it on the desktop. So I'm going to click the page option and then it brings up a list of pages in my app and I'm going to click the second page and that's now done. So if I just click the I at the top, I get view mode and view mode shows me what my app would look like if somebody else was looking at it. And watch what happens now when I move my pointer over the Android can you see that the arrow turns into a hand, little finger pointer, and I click that, and it's moved me to my second page. So I've made that part of the app interactive. So I'm going to go back into edit mode again by clicking the pencil, and I can always flip between those two modes really easily. And I'm going to do the same thing with my home page. Now I'm going to draw over the top of that home page icon as but neatly as I can I don't really want it going over the edge and then again it pops up with the option so I click page and I'll, this time I want to go back to the home page because obviously you need to be able to navigate to and from the different pages so let's just test that shall we make sure that works view mode click home and there you go and that works perfectly so I can easily now go across the interactive content that I've added on and I could put using little interactive hotspot tool to create links to other pages links to external websites um, and even send to an email address so what you might want to focus on doing in this lesson is once you've added all of your actual content to your mobile apps you might want to now build in the navigation and see if you can make your app interactive and that's all for this video in our next video we'll look at how to finish off save and publish your finished app